Logan, everybody. This is John and Glenn from BestPriceNutrition.com. I uh, today we're going to review Jacked or Jack 3D. I'm really not sure how to pronounce it, to be honest with you. I mean, if you read the label, it says Jack 3D, but a lot of people refer to it as Jacked. So we're just going to call it Jacked for the rest of this video, just for uh, simplicity. Um, you know, we've spoken about this particular product in a few other videos that we've done, just because we've covered pre-workouts and we kind of discussed kind of the genesis of pre-workouts and where they've come and kind of how Jacked has started the new rave which is the smaller more concentrated pre-workouts where you get less ingredients but more of said ingredients in the product and they tend to pack a little bit more punch instead of in, um, in terms of stems. Mm -hmm. um, you want to cover a little bit about Jack, kind of give us an overview? Yeah, basically a breakdown of the ingredients uh, like John was saying it, it is heavily uh, st stimulant, there's a lot of stimulants inside of it but to start off there's arginine alpha ketobutyrate which is a source of arginine, um, it's in there for the pump effect um, a lot of these products are so uh, full of stimulants, though, that you're not going to get much of that pump because you're going to be so, you know, excuse the term, you're going to be so jacked up, I guess. Um, so the arginine's in there for the pump, and then you've got creatine monohydrate. Um, with the first two ingredients, though, this is a proprietary blend, so we don't know how much of each one you're getting. Um, so we've got arginine, we've got creatine, and then comes beta alanine. Uh, beta alanine in there for the... Uh, Reduce lactic acid acted effect. Excuse me, lactic acid effect, um, allowing you to work out longer, get that last few reps. Uh, also, your last set uh, or your last exercise in that uh, uh, of the day, you'll also still be strong, um, have some energy left. Kind of like how I like to say with beta alanine is, it's, it's an ingredient that sometimes we often think, oh, I'll take it and I'll be able to do more reps because I'm not going to produce much, too much lactic acid, but it doesn't just work within a set like Glenn was referring to, it works within your entire workout because lactic acid accumulates throughout your workout. That's one of the reasons why you know you can only work out so intense for so long, amongst other things. There's some other rate limiting factors, that's one of them. But you touch on something, you know, there's it's it is a basically a four thousand one hundred forty five milligram or four point one five, you know, the give or take uh, gram serving size. And there's only six ingredients. So even though it is a proprietary blend, you going to have to get a heavy dosage of mm -hmm. things in here, you know, one way or the other because there's only six ingredients, which is nice because I think there's a few products out there like, what's yeah. it, Nano Vapor? Nano Vapor's got 80 30, ingredients? It? I think it was somewhere like 32 to 36, somewhere around that, which is a lot yeah, I because, thought 80. you know, in, in a 20 gram, it, it might even have 80, in a 20 gram dosage, how much can you really be getting of each ingredient? Uh, uh, so they're sort of pixie dusting it with, with all these different ingredients. Well, real quick, we touched on some of the ingredients. Let's, uh, let's go ahead and go through the rest of the ingredients and some of their effects. We already touched on beta alanine. Mm -hmm. Um, you know, arginine, alpha ketoglutarate, and we've talked about that before, but let's give a quick rundown on that. Uh, it's basically arginine bonded to an alpha ketoglutarate molecule, or what they call AKG. It's, it's just there to help with the absorption of the arginine. Uh, that's why they add that to it. Um, because straight arginine by itself, if you take it, uh, studies have been showing that it's good for growth hormone production, but it actually is in and out of your system pretty quickly. Uh, so that's why they add this alpha ketoglutarate to sort of slow down the absorption or, or extend the half-life of the ingredient. Um, and then creatine monohydrate is, is the most studied source of creatine or form of creatine. Um, it's a one we always recommend uh, just because it, it's, it's cost-effective and it works. Um, and to go on to the next ingredient, caffeine is in here, just your straight caffeine. Uh, next you've got the 1,3-dimethylamylamine, which is also called geranium or 1,3-DMAA, or 1,3 is another way to call it. Uh, that is a stimulant. It's in a lot of different products right now um, as a stimulant. Um, a lot of people claim it can cause a crash, which it can after you take this product. You know, a couple hours later, you, you may get tired from it. That's a downfall of that ingredient. Uh, the last one is called Schizandrol A. Um, there's not much, re much research on humans with this product, with this ingredient. Um, USB Labs is claiming that it increases your mental output or, or, or work done mentally or mental work as they call it. Um, there's really not much to back that up. Um, it, it is a stimulant. Um, a, a lot of the research done on it though is showing that it's good, it's, it's a liver protectant and it's also an anti-inflammatory, which is nice, um, but I think they're putting it in here because it does have some stimulating qualities. Well, and you touched on something. One of the uh, report effects is that people do really like this product, one for the stimulant effect. They also do feel more mental focus and whether that's, whether that's due to the geranium um, or the ingredient with the schizandra ingredient, we're not sure. So I guess when we say we're not sure, that's kind of why. You know, there's, there's a lot more data out there on geranium at this point. So we can, you know, confidently tell you that's what you're going to feel. Mm -hmm. 
Um, as we did run through the ingredients, you know, there is creatine in here. Uh, we don't know exactly how much. I mean, typically when I recommend creatine monohydrates to people, I tell them at least five grams, you know, per day. So I would probably take creatine on top of this. And it's a pretty cheap ingredient, so it's, it's certainly, you know, fine to, to take on top of this. And it's not going to, you know, you're not going to break the bank to have to take it. Um, I do see they use the patented form of uh, beta alanine, the carnosine, which is, um, I guess, a good thing. I'm not sure, you know, how the, uh, the efficacy of the other forms of beta alanine that are out on the market. But the bottom line is, is this is the product that kind of changed the way we look at pre-workouts. Um, initially, you know, we had our own explodes and super pump 250s, and we still have those. Um, and there's nothing wrong with those. It's just that this has really brought on a whole new wave of pre-workouts. You know, we covered in another video, you know, we've got 1MR that's come out from BPI, mm -hmm. uh, Omega Sports Flashover. You know, a lot of them taking that same approach, kind of the less is more effect. Um, you know, one of the other questions we had is people with side effects and, and warnings with this product. You know, the one thing I'll say is, is I'm somebody who's pretty sensitive to stimulants, and this product kicks pretty hard. So if you are going to try it, and you know yourself, yourself to be somebody who's pretty sensitive to stimulants, do half the serving. I mean, what's the worst thing that happens? You don't feel it for your workout. And the other thing that uh, Glenn had touched on is just down regulation. You know, you, you, you want to be careful with that. So pretty much the way I recommend with any of these pre-workouts is to take them, you know, maybe just three, four days a week to kind of keep your adrenal glands guessing so you don't have that a, a, a effect where you've got to keep taking more and more to feel the stimulant effect from it. So that's kind of how I recommend it. And then, you know, if you do still want the good effects from creatine beta alien, you'd have to buy that separately and take those on a daily ba basis to maintain those because your dosages are, are going to need to be kept up in order to get the full effects from those ingredients. Um, you know, another question we've had is what can people stack it with? You could stack it with most products. I mean, obviously not another pre-workout because this will do that job. Um, some people ask because the popular product, another popular product by USB Labs is the Oxyle Pro. Um, you can stack the two, but you don't want to take them within four hours of each other because of the stimulants. Both contain stimulants, and you don't want to go too high with that. Um, you can take, you know, protein powder, obviously, beta alanine, creatine. You can definitely take with that. But anything that contains a stimulant, you don't want to take with this because there's already enough inside here. Yeah, definitely. That's that's for sure. And even if you're somebody who is used to stimulants and you take this product, I mean, we've had people say, whoa. It's very know. potent. Yeah, so, you know, just start with a little bit lower of dosage. You know, if you want to make sure you feel it that day, maybe take half a scoop an hour before. Half an hour later, you should kind of know how you feel. So if you feel like you can take a little more, then do that, and then go to your workout. You know, taking an hour before versus a half an hour is really not going to make any difference. And one last thing, too, on that, uh, as far as the ingredients, there's not a ton of magnesium in this product, which was one of the criticisms of the, you know, original nitric oxide pre-workout products because a lot of people would have problems where they'd be going to the bathroom. Well, really, that's because of the magnesium. Magnesium can have a laxative effect, and it takes a little bit of time for your body to get used to it. So when people would initially take some of those products, they would have, you know, some digestive discomforts. So. Diarrhea, almost. Yeah, and so. it was an issue of uh, very high doses of magnesium, and, yeah. and a lot of companies have recognize that and take it out. And they put it in there for a good reason because magnesium helps with ATP production. It's just I, I don't think that all of the other effects were considered. So most of them, like Glenn says, is reformulated. Um, another question that people ask, um, would any of this come up on a drug test? It will. Actually, the ingredient, the geranium that's in here, is banned by the World Anti-Doping Agency, and I do believe it's also banned by the NCAA now. So it's an issue of if you're a college athlete, or an Olympic athlete, or somebody who can get drug tested um, for the, the specific amphetamines and things like that, then don't take it. That Or check with your trainer. Make sure you get it cleared before you do that. Don't get yourself... Suspended because you you know you took something and you know it's it's just not worth it. You know there's other products you could take that will be less that ingredient. <clears throat> so that's that's when we run it. <clears throat> Another question has been for women. Can women take this product? Absolutely. I mean you know we did that great vi video. Well, we think it's great mm -hmm. on bodybuilding supplements for women. Um, there's nothing gender specific about this product. Again, same thing. If your body weight for most females is going to be less than a male, so you would just scale your dosage down. Again, start with less, and you know you could always build up to more. Um, and I think it pretty much covers everything as far as yeah. questions that we've gotten regarding this product. Um, again, this is a huge seller. I mean, it's the top selling product, I'd say, for the last, what, a year and a half yeah. in the industry, I would write mm -hmm. it. Am I mistaken by saying that? Yeah, it's, it's taken over for everything else that was up there. It's, it's very, very popular. So a lot of people like it. Um, if you like it and you've tried it, by all means, you know, stick with it. Um, I would just say that, you know, another question we do get to, while I'm thinking about it is how long can I take this product for? Again, it really depends. If you're using it every day, then, I, you know, I'd recommend don't go beyond maybe two months at the most and then give yourself at least that much time off or at least half that time off, like 30 days off, because you don't want your body to get too adapted to the, um, 
to the stimulants in there because your adrenal glands will get downregulated on it. It's like drinking coffee. You start mm -hmm. with one cup, oh, I get a super buzz, and before you know it, you need two. You're drinking a so. pot of coffee, and yeah. yeah. Exactly. So just to kind of avoid that effect, keep your body guessing. If you're doing it that way, where you are taking it maybe just three days a week, even twice, you know, then you can get your body uh, guessing more so, so you can take exactly. it for a longer period of time. And if you do go on and off things that do have caffeine, you know, one thing to consider is just to take maybe some green tea or something during that time off so you don't get the caffeine headaches. That's the one exactly. thing. You don't want to get the withdrawal because you're, you know, you're dealing with blood flow to your brain and that's where the headaches come into play. But uh, that pretty much wraps it up. So if you guys have any other questions on this product, please uh, go ahead and post them and we will answer them. Thank you.